Okay, okay. Oh, let me turn this heat on. It is cold in here. It's like when you're asleep in the middle of the night, you don't know music, but when you're awake, it's like you can hear the music. It's freezing. And the bad thing about my heat is, like, it'll turn on, but it'll take like a good 45 minutes to an hour to kick in. Like in order to like heat up the, the room. So, <coughs> excuse me, it said on the cold for a minute. But it's cool, it's whatever. So, I went to a salon today. Well, really, I went downtown. I guess it's downtown in the shopping district or something. You know, you have all these stores that open up at like 11 to 5. And you're like, that's such an unreasonable time. Like, no one's... Like, most people work between 11 and 5. But entrepreneurs don't, I guess. Or people who work overnights don't. But... Yeah, it's just such an, um, it's just, I feel like it's such an inconsiderate time for people to have a business. And then it's like, how are you making any money if you're open during the time that all the businesses are opening? I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, I went to a couple of their stores today and I came across some interesting people. It was really nice. It was very pleasant. It was a pleasant experience. Um... I'm not gonna lie, majority of them were of, of the Caucasian race. They were polite though, you know, it wasn't anything weird or racist about it. It was just, you know, they were, I do wanna address, they were white. But the reason where, where I was going with that is, it's like, I don't know, it was kind of nice to see, to just be on that side, I guess, of the fence. like. 
if you haven't noticed, I am black, okay? I've always been black, but I've, I've either lived in a really diverse city or I lived in a black neighborhood. So I grew up around other minorities is really what I'm saying. And I guess from a societal perspective or American perspective or something, the Caucasian race is the majority race or shareholder, race shareholder of America or some shit. I don't fucking know. I don't know where I was going with that. But I went to a couple of their stores today and it was actually really pleasant. Um, yeah, one of them was a sewing place. I don't know if I told you guys this or not. One of them was a sewing place. So she makes alterations to, to clothing and fabric and such. And I need to get like a pair of pants hemmed. Like I plan to buy more quality clothing anyway. So I would want them to be um, hemmed and cinched in to my figure. So it was nice to know that they exist in this neighborhood. Um, I went to a tobacco store. He sold tobacco, like cigars and stuff. Like I've always wanted to buy. I always wanted to buy my father like a gift, or, like either a Father's Day gift or a birthday gift. I just have yet to get around to it. But I found this tobacco store. And I don't know what type of cigars my father likes, but you know, I can always go in there and do my research and ask some questions and stuff. So it's really nice that, you know, I found that store here in this neighborhood. Um, I learned something. I wasn't expecting to learn anything, but I don't know if this is all white people. <laughs> Sorry to call you guys this. I'm gonna have to find a different name for you all. Um, Caucasians. I don't know if this is all Caucasians. But there's this store, well, it's not a store, but it's a salon. It's a hair salon. I walked inside. I don't even know what I needed. I didn't realize. I was just walking around and I saw that it was a hair salon. It was open and I was like, well, I might as well go in there and ask some questions because I do need a trim. I need a, um, yeah, I need a trim for my hair, I think. I think I need a trim. But yeah, I just saw that the store was open and I walked inside pretty much is what happened. And I'll go in and it's a barber shop. <laughs> to our um, vocabulary, we would say it's a barber shop. She only serviced male clients. And that's all she did was male clients. So, yeah, some hair salons, I guess. Or maybe once upon a time, hair salons were called or barber shops or hair salons or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I learned today. A hair salon services males, but a headquarters, I guess, which is the place that she recommended me. She recommended me to go to a headquarters. So I guess headquarters is the female salon. I don't know. You guys can let me know if I'm correct down below. Cause I really don't know. <laughs> but I think I learned something today, maybe. Maybe I did not, and she was just being head ass about it, you know? But, <laughs> yeah, that was my day.
y'all. Oh my God. My kitchen is clean. It's amazing. This is the last item that I have to clean. I'm so happy. I'm so happy you all. Y'all have absolutely no idea. It's not that my kitchen has been dirty for like, it's not like it's been dirty forever. It's just, I clean in segments if you all haven't noticed. <laughs> I clean in segments. So um, I don't clean my kitchen in its entirety every day. It's like, I clean it. I don't know if I clean it every day. I wouldn't say I clean it every day. I would say I clean it every three days. I also don't, well, I cook often. I don't know. I have a whole routine. I have a whole kitchen routine. But I don't feel like it's up to par to the life that I should be living. But also, I'm young and I'm still figuring things out. <laughs> so, I have so many excuses. But I'm growing as an individual, so whatever. But anyway, my kitchen is after this dish and I wipe down this counter and I wipe down the counters over here too because I spilled some pepper on there. Oh shit, I have a plate in front of me. Give me a second. I don't even know if
Awesome. Awesome. My kitchen is clean, you all. It's clean. It's clean. Ah! Ah, it's clean. So there's that. Um, I'm gonna get off of here, I guess. I'm done. Did you see everything? Sparkling, baby. All right, it's time for me to get off of here. Thank you all for tuning in. Definitely enjoyed having you here. Um, uh, I guess like, comment, subscribe. Um, hit me up. Let me know. <laughs> Let me know what you want to see. I'm going to leave. Bye now.